This is a bracket I created to uh, fit my DSD button box to the Symmetric Alpha Mini. The, uh, of course the old brackets that came with the button box didn't fit because that was for a, uh, a Fanatec Club Sport 2.5. Uh, so I guess really the important part here is, is this section here which uh, aligns the holes with the 8mm bolts which you can use to uh, attach this to your to your wheelbase and of course this cutout here fits around the, uh, the actual shaft. Uh, this part here fits my button box, it may not fit yours but uh, uh, at the same time you might just use this as a uh, front cover for a button box that you may want to make yourself. So this is a plate that I created to mount my Symmetric Alpha Mini to a wood, plywood specifically uh, mount plate. So these three holes here are what take the, the wood screws. If I remember correctly these are three millimeter screws which fits the inner diameter of the actual screws that are used. Uh, of course the outer diameter cuts into it a little bit so uh, that makes sure that nothing moves. Uh, the big holes here are the ones that actually attach to the base so you would start by by screw bolting this to your base uh, and uh, you may so with this if you only use this blue part here uh, you can use the longer screws that come with your base or bolts here to to attach to the base if you also use this piece here that's on top which you may want to use if you want to get a a bigger angle then you will need to get longer screws uh, to account for that. Um, you may see on the video where I'll show my installation I drilled out this hole to 7mm and then used a 6mm bolt that went all the way through the, the base plate. Uh, that ensures that even if uh, <laughs> I put so much torque on my wheel that I break what five 3mm screws which is very unlikely uh, still going to stay in place and uh, not cause any damage to me or anything else. Uh, if you want to drill out or reshape any of the plastic, uh, just make sure that you print it with really high infill. I did 70%, probably want to go maybe 80%, uh, but if you go that high or above, uh, drilling out a hole is not going to be a problem. You're not going to you're not going to lose much strength by doing that. With low infill though you will uh, and that's going to cause a problem. If you go real low on the infill you will also have problems with just uh, uh, making sure this doesn't collapse when you tighten down the, the base. Uh, so yeah that's pretty much it. Works pretty well for me and uh, maybe it will for you. Thanks for watching.